hours after the attempted rebellion, the opening night of the RNC kicked off with a speech by the controversial Duck Dynasty star Willie Robertson, who noted that both he and Donald Trump are reality TV personalities. The night was dubbed Benghazi Night, featuring a speech by Pat Smith, whose son Sean Smith died alongside U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens in Libya. Republicans have repeatedly denounced former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for her handling of the 2012 Benghazi attacks, although a series of investigations have cleared Clinton of wrongdoing. Another speaker was Jamil Shaw Sr., the father of Jamil Shaw Jr., who was shot and killed by uh, an undocumented immigrant in 2008 near their home in Los Angeles. And Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark celebrated the acquittal of Baltimore police officer Brian Rice, one of the officers on trial in the Freddie Gray case. Gray died from injuries sustained in police custody. There is some good news out of Baltimore, Maryland, as Lieutenant Brian Rice was acquitted on all charges. What we witnessed in Ferguson, in Baltimore, and Baton Rouge was a collapse of the social order. So many of the actions of the Occupy movement and Black Lives Matter transcends peaceful protests and violates the code of conduct we rely on. I call it anarchy. Other speakers included former New York City Mayor Rudolph Giuliani, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, and Trump's wife, Melania Trump whose speech appears to have been plagiarized, um, whose speech appears to have plagiarized parts of First Lady Michelle Obama's speech from the 2008 Democratic National Convention. This clip compares the two speeches, beginning with Michelle Obama. Barack and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. The values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're going to do. That your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise. Because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. That's Melania Trump in her speech Monday night here at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, and Michelle Obama in her speech at the DNC in 2008. In response to the allegations of plagiarism, Trump campaign chair Paul Manafort told CNN Melania Trump had not plagiarized Michelle Obama, that these were simply common words. Who takes the fall for cribbing Michelle Obama's speech in 2008? Whose fault is that? Well, there's no cribbing of Michelle Obama's speech. You know, these weren't common words and values that she cares about her family, uh, that, uh, that things like that. I mean, she was speaking in front of 35 million people last night. She knew that. Uh, to think that she would be cribbing Michelle Obama's words is, is crazy. Uh, I mean, it's so. I mean, this is once again an example of when a woman threatens Hillary Clinton. Uh, uh, she would try, seeks out to demeanor and, uh, and uh, take Meanwhile, her Meanwhile, the list of Republicans who are not coming to the convention in Cleveland is growing. Ohio Governor John Kasich has refused to endorse Donald Trump, and he's not shown up to the convention, even though it's in his own state. He's not expected to come at any point this week. More than a dozen other Republican leaders have also decided to skip the RNC, including Arizona Senator Jeff Flake, who says he's staying home because he'd rather mow his lawn, and Florida Congressman Dennis Ross, who says he's skipping the RNC because, quote, it's a good time to be fishing in Montana, unquote.